Hi, 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 Mr. Azlan, the landlord here. It's Thursday, 17th of November 2022, and the time is 11.29. Uh, 29 minutes past 11 in the late morning, almost afternoon, and I'm taking you on a tour of my flat. So this is the window, uh, casement window by the flat. It has three panels. But before I show you what's there, I'll show you what's first here. So I've got something growing in this uh, pot here, which I've put <coughs> um, on the base of the shop uh, logs. And uh, this one has a chop block as well, and to prevent it from getting wet, I've got the top of a 20 litre paint uh, can. And I've got something growing here, not sure what. Um, could be kiwi fruit. Anyway, we'll see. Um, something there, this one, nothing's germinated yet. This one, nothing's germinated yet, nothing here. Uh, here also, well, nothing, nothing at all. Here I've got pagaga growing. This pagaga actually, <clears throat> um, it's pretty difficult to grow, um, especially if you pull it out from somewhere else, because the roots can be easily damaged. So <clears throat> I took more than I needed, and then carefully as possible put it in uh, this pot which is over my uh, aquarium and the water which I if I overwater would spill to the aquarium I've got a bait in there I tried to go kangkong in here and watercress but um, it wouldn't grow neither would uh, taro maybe it's too wet uh, but this money plant is growing nicely so I'm just leaving the money plant there even though I can't eat it um, probably try to grow something else which is aquatic pandan or something or semi-aquatic in, in this water here. Um, this aquarium was found by the roadside last someone had discarded it. I found it in a skip actually. Anyway, um, this is beginning to re-establish itself. <coughs> um, so the, the young leaves shoots um, coming out. Uh, when I first got it, <coughs> uh, I think the next day there were only two leaves and now there are a lot more. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten leaves. So I'm very happy with the progress here. Okay, here I've got, I think, an avocado seed. This hasn't germinated. Here I've got something else. which so just germinated, but I can't make out what it is. Nothing's germinated here, nothing here, nothing here, nothing here. But here I have an avocado, which is uh, quite tall, almost reached the level of the window. And you can see it's a uh, exhibiting some phototropism it's turning okay and the uh, new uh, leaf shoots um, developing there okay and I've got a trough back there in fact I've got three troughs I've got one on the left there on the windowsill one in the middle there and one on the right okay and then I've got two troughs here uh, one here and one here and a big one here okay and they're all in this metal ah well this is in this metal tray stainless steel tray uh, but these are in this um what do you call it um it's trough within a trough within the green trough because i put the green trough on the table which is um got the plastic mat under it i didn't uh, allow the holes uh, remove the plug for the holes because I didn't want it to get wet. So whatever I planted in here, I thought I could plant kangkung or whatever, but the roots got waterlogged, it wouldn't grow. So what I'm growing is in the top troughs and whatever water extra will go into the bottom trough. And I had soil in the bottom trough, but I've taken it out and put it in these troughs because uh, nothing will grow in this overlocked um, soil. But this spot, it's really amazing because this is a pot where I've got all this passion fruit growing. See this whole bunch of passion fruit all over here. I made a trellis using bamboo, these uh, bamboo sticks, as well as liana, you know, these uh, vines, which I got when I cleared up my um, foodscape in Puchong. So these vines, um, you know, they're quite long, so to, to make them easy to handle in the car, I've uh, rolled them up, 
and uh, they, they're not tight, they're just, what do you call it, uh, <coughs> stuck together by the rolling and as it hardens, as it dries out, it will keep it shape. And I'm using it as an artistic kind of um, arty party thing for the uh, plant to grow onto. Okay? Um, plants have a will of their own. You know, sometimes you try to train them, but they decide to grow wherever they want. Now the idea was to take the spot out when the creeper, um, you know, is germinated. But my Bangla worker didn't come for a long time, so it's gone up and like invaded this whole place. So I'm leaving it here. But the amazing thing is all coming out of this one pot. So I do water it, but there's no danger of overwatering because um, there's a tray at the bottom. So whatever water will come out onto the tray, uh, extra excess water. And also I feed it some uh, fertilizer once in a while because I think the fertilizer demand from this um, kiwi fruit no passion fruit from this passion fruit will be quite a lot okay I've got things going here things like uh, dates no this is a date it's not lalang this is um, osari this is actually a date um, so when I eat dates I just plant the seeds if it grows if it grows if it doesn't um, it will just become compost here I've got something growing I don't know what looks like grass but possibly not or it could be grass from weeds or whatever, but anyway, it's um, established a diversity for establishing an ecosystem of sorts. Okay, this is sweet potato which I've got in here. So this is one which is quite obvious, but this one here has grown so long. Okay, and then it's like meshed up in this mess with um, kiwi fruit. Uh, with a passion fruit. Oh, I don't know why I keep saying kiwi fruit, but passion fruit. And I don't know what's what anymore. Okay, so that's the idea, create a little jungle and whatever grows, grows, whatever is happy will grow and thrive and whatever the habitat is not suitable will just die and become compost. So that's my philosophy, the do-nothing gardening kind of technique which I learned from um, Masanobu Fukuoka. Just plant many things, as many as 20 species and whatever thrives, thrives, and whatever doesn't grow, it's not suitable, so don't plant it again there, try something else. Okay, see you next time, bye!